Well, go on, people. Bless upon yourself. We there for the next update. And I'm sure by now, you guys heard about the Skilly Bank interview that he did with Wilford Williams, right, on stage. Now, in the interview, you know, Skilly Bang, he big up Vibes Cartel, all right? And no, you know, I don't have a problem with that. You know, they, they big up who you want for big up, you know. Um, he give credit to Vibes Cartel, say that Vibes Cartel basically is the artist that um, he patterned his style from. All right, I, f- I kind of find that, you know. Yeah, you know, he say he patching this time for Vibes Cartel. Give Vibes Cartel a whole heap of credit, people. And, you know, me not have no problem with that. He understand. The, the artists want to give Vibes Cartel credit and want to say, you know, basically his career is in the hands of the world boss. Well, that, uh, uh, for him business that, you understand. You know, I have no problem with that. What I do have an issue with, all right, is with Skilly Beng being concerned about alkaline because we all know you know the shades you know and Wilford Williams I would have to call him out on this one because he basically initiate you know the whole thing when he said um when Wilford Williams said oh you know some artists I give the man credit but I'm not giving him the full credit <laughs> yeah Wilford Williams love the mix up you know I swear that I understand but can't blame Wilford Williams because he's the host of the show and he's going to ask the tough questions, right? But it's Kili Beng now to how he respond to the questions, all right? How he respond. That's what I was looking for because I watched the interview. I watched it twice. Matter of fact, I think I watched it three times before I give you guys this update. See? And you guys know with our body TV, I've been say, you know, the guys in the nation, they're going to try to put this, you know, they're going to push this artist. All right. As soon as we see he got the you know link with the guys in nation, I said, look, they're gonna push this artist, and they're gonna try to um you know make it make um Skilly Bang seems as he's the hardest thing in dance all right now. Him come for take over because you're listening to the um if you listen to the interview he did, basically he that's what he's saying. He's gonna you know come take over the place, you know, and run the place don't have a problem with that neither you know the artist need to be confident and you know them just need to be confident because you, you, you know they need that confident in a dance hall because the fans more time and, and and this is why i'm you know like i said i have an issue with what he said in the interview when he, he, he you know wilford asked him you know like, he's giving vice cartel so much credit right and why is he doing it he basically explained himself but when wilford williams talk about someone not give the artist credit and whatever whatever and he made reference to oh it's like them not give the artist credit because you know them you, you know he, he noticed what he said he said them not do it like we or them can't do it like we you know what I mean? Them brain is not this and whatever, whatever. So that was a shot at Alkaline. And we all know that was Alkaline they was talking about, if you guys didn't know. All right? Because Alkaline is the one that did the interview on on stage where Wilford Williams was asking him about Vice Cartel and asking him about where he got his style, his pattern, and all these things. And even though Alkaline big up Vice Cartel or say, well, him read, you know, the older the artists, them the far before them, People was just wanting alkaline. The same thing I see they doing with Idonia right now. Wanted Idonia to big up uh, Masiko, even though Masiko always disrespecting Idonia. I don't see how people can. Well, that's for a different. That, that's for a different topic. See, but it's the same thing. It's like you want alkaline to big up Vibes Cartel, and it's like Vibes Cartel talk about you this and you that and Ray 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 and all these things. Guys, the fans be dung dude. But still on the one dude for big up vibes cartel. And Skilly Bang, I was saying when I watched the interview, why are you so concerned about if Alkaline big up vibes cartel or not? If you want for big up vibes cartel, big up vibes cartel. Nobody don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? But well, you know, it's like you you saying, well, oh well, them man or 
that that person or you know whoever because we know it's our client they reference into people well i'm i'm guessing that's who they reference into right and saying well oh him not big up the man and him not giving full credit because him this and him that the last time i checked the last time i checked people who have the other songs in the street and i'm talking about jamaica or right now in dance who have the hardest songs in the street buzzing right now don't get me wrong skilly bang is doing his thing but the last time i checked is nothing like cree ocean wave and you know a, a them single right now i run the street red see so when 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 art when skilly bang making reference to all oh, them artists not going with nothing or you not see them or them brains this and them brains that and all them thing that's definitely a shot that's a shot you know what i mean he's taking shots he's throwing shades at alkaline or the mvp camp we all know that and this is one of the things i was saying we didn't want skilly bank for doing we didn't want the gaza nation for push up this artist now and size up himself because let me tell skilly bank this you haven't impressed me yet you haven't impressed me yet you have some hot songs you are guan like i said i love the interview let me say that first and foremost love the interview love the energy the young artist you know he brings all right but you see you see you, you see right there so when you make that statement and talk about all oh, them man they them not give no credit to the man because them brains this and them brains that them. why are you so concerned about alkaline or we, we, well i'm people i'm just saying we i'm thinking it's alkaline they're talking about i'm just i'm just being frank right now right or the mvp artist because it's the only artist i can think about that, they, that it, it would even be so possible for even wilford williams to say oh well some artists not some artists we know who they're talking about it's alkaline you understand so people so concerned whether the, and i noticed in the the interview skilly bang said um him a gelding but not for too long right and who which artist we know they style as gelding so to me he blatantly right even though he didn't came out fully like i said the shades the subliminals right but came out and style alkaline if you ask me personally and i'm and i'm and i'm asking myself why is it most of these artists as soon as they get a collaboration from vibes cartel or the gas nation they feel the need to diss alkaline why is that why one can't just big up vibes cartel we watch the interview and it alkaline don't even have nothing to do with it because you know people are gonna put two and two together like i'm because i saw the interview all the youtube bloggers are already running with it and i didn't even want to push this narrative because like i said i said if dance our fans want to see a next rising star right don't size him up against the mvp don't size him up against the vendetta boss and 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 this artist haven't really Im impressed me yet he have some hot songs he's doing his things yeah he's buzzing but he haven't done anything to impress me you you want to do something to impress me skilly bang keep up this same momentum for two three years i'm not even gonna say five keep it up at least for for two or three years because i've seen artists that forward in the business right now they have a bigger buzz than you even though people are not talking about it all right when the six forward in the dance hall they had a bigger buzz than you skilly bang let me just say that and the six is comprised of more than one multiple artists and you saw what alkaline did to them so alkaline did to a whole heap of artists we saw what alkaline even did right defend himself against the very person that you were giving all your credit and respect to i'm i'm basically putting your career on the line that's why i'm looking at it and now you're gonna size up yourself and talk about oh basically them bring this and then bring that when you know alkaline was the one who said them bring in a matches box when he did i think was the onstage interview likewise so i see it i see the plot people all right and that's what i want to talk about but i'm i i, I want i just want to know why people so concerned about alkaline bigging up vibes cartel bigging up this bigging up that when them not big up certain artists likewise are you a big up vibes cartel you saying vibes cartel like i said you basically 
putting your career in Vice Cartel hand. Like, Vice Cartel are the only artists that influence youths. Like, the youth them now look up to art, other artists such as Vado and the Busy Signal and the Assassins. You understand? The Sizzler Kalanjis, the, you know, the, 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 the Antoni B. I'm just saying, other artists is the Cape Litton, the Buju Bantans. You understand? Come on, people. You understand? I mean, yeah, we know Vibes Cartel is a legend in the business, Vibes Cartel. You know, he did his thing. Right? But I don't see every young artist need, need to come out and say, oh, a Vibes Cartel, them pattern, and a Vibes Cartel, this. And if, if some artists want to big up other artists and say, yo, them Vibes Cartel, big up to Vibes Cartel, but him and my artist. What's the, you know, and then from when you get the collaboration with Vibes Cartel or when you affiliate yourself, right? Or affiliate on yourself. When you when have to diss Alkaline or take sh shots at the artist and then when the artist acknowledge you guys, cause like I said, I see what Alkaline did with other careers. Bigger than you, you know. Bigger than your skilly bang. And then who the one we for say? When the artist decide to step out and release you and acknowledge you know, what take a bunch of subliminal shots at the artist. I go and turn them on. Like I said, I call this didn't want to see this because, like I said, I actually like Skilly Bang. He go on with things. But since he must size up himself, and, you know, and he's making these bold statements. I, I don't know what to say, people. I'm just going to leave it right there. And we're just going to wait and see the outcome of this. Because he's already taking shots. And 40,000, 40 plus something, thousand people look at that interview. And what do you think they're going to say? You think this is not going to get back? To certain people ears <laughs> okay okay people but that's my thoughts on it you guys leave your thoughts in the comment section and i don't have an issue with skilly bang but i do have an issue like i said with those lines that he made reference to the artist you know brings this and all oh, them can't do what we do and this is why this and you know why are some people so concerned if you give credit just give credit move on you don't know why that man didn't big up the artist and you're not concerned about that and you know you big up the artist and you give credit to where credit is do you not watch people think the man you know what i mean i rather you to say that time a man bring this and them can this that's a shot so what now anyway people might say i'm this and i'm you know but i'm just calling it the way i see people you guys let me know in the comment section until the next update. I don't know what to do, man. Bless up on yourself. My God.